Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, another deck for you guys to follow up on the September 2018 ban list, which just came out yesterday. Uh, this time I'm presenting Dinosaurs again. Um, nothing too big on changes, um, just a few things, but overall, pretty much the same deck. It's the Lost World variation. But the good news is, I think this deck might have more relevancy in this upcoming meta now that extra linking is not going to be as big of a problem as it was before. And going second feels more confident again, because this deck is mainly a going second deck, not a going first deck. But now that uh, Nightmare Goblin's banned, uh, Amex, um Saber Invoker, I believe that's what it was called, is now banned. So, yeah, I figured now is a good time to, you know, play Dinosaurs a little bit more often this time. And, you know, because the deck itself acts as a full-on floodgate with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And if you... Uh, Go up against Alter guys, you know, you should still be able to, you know, have a good chance against them. Even Trick Stars are pretty weak to um, uh, Dinosaurs and Sky Strikers as well. So, yeah, let's get to it. So starting off, uh, we're running, of course, three copies of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. You mainly want to get this guy out as quickly out or as quickly as possible. Um, acts as a Book of Eclipse. I know some say Book of um, Book of Moon, but Eclipse is actually the better. Uh, Comparison because he flips all monsters on your opponent's side of the field face down and when he attacks a monster in defense mode um, He sends him to the graveyard and you can inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent. So that's why it's really good. So yeah Of course, I'm gonna be running three soul eating over after one of the best cards in the deck uh, When this card is normal or special summon, you can take one dinosaur monster either add it to your hand or just send it to the graveyard And you mainly send over over text quadlets to the grave to get your pill faster or you can search out your miscellaneous source as well, or you can even search out Ultimate Conductor Tyranno if you want. But yeah, great card, and once per turn, you can pop uh, one dinosaur on the field, uh, mainly one of the Jurek tokens you want to aim for, and then special summon a level 4 dinosaur from your graveyard. You can also save that token using Lost World's Effect, which I'll get to in just a moment. Um, you're going to be running two copies of Giant Rex. Um, used to run it at 1, but now I run it at 2 because, you know, he, he really helps out a lot. You once, once per turn, if this card is banished, you can special summon it back. And if you do, you can this card uh, gains 200 attack points for each banished dinosaur from the banished zone. So really good card. Uh, definitely recommend it at two. Uh, next up, we got two babies. Just because, like, three got cloggy, so two is actually the better number. And yeah, just like whenever this card is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one level four or lower dinosaur from your, from your deck. So... Really comes in handy, combos so well with Lost World, so I definitely play it at 2. Wish this card came back to 2, but it's still at 1, Miscellaneous Horse, because this card's ridiculously good. Um, during either player's main phase, you can send this card uh, from your hand, and if and all Dinosaur-type monsters are unaffected by card effects during the main phases only. And I forgot to mention Tyranno's ability, where he destroys one monster in, from your hand, uh, or on the field, to flip all monsters face down, can only be activated during main phases not battle phases. So just keep in mind that that's where he's vulnerable. So yeah, so just always know when to properly use um, Tyranno's effect. Uh, moving on, we got, of course, the one over text quad list. We only run it at one. Used to run it at two, but it got cloggy at two, but I decided to bump it down to one. But you just mainly need to send it to the graveyard so you can get your pills. But if you've managed to open up with it, try to banish five dinosaurs and shuffle them all back. That way you can get this card out because it's a free spell and trap negate. But overall, still a great card, uh, but I only just like to play it at one, though. Alright, since uh, Extra Linking, like I said, still exists, but Kaijuing is a lot easier now. Um, it's it's really not as hard to get around the Extra Link as it was before, so... Of course, I'm running a small Kaiju engine, one Gamma Seal, one Kumungus, and of course, Dogaron, which you can summon through Double Evolution Pill, and you can search it out through um, Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. So, great cards. Uh, for the hand traps, running Triple Droll, Triple Ash, and Double Ogre. Pretty solid cards. Uh, Ogres, you know, is a good way to get rid of floodgates, uh, just clear up boards in general. Electromite's now one, so you want to definitely um, Ghost Ogre that Electromite as quickly as you can. So, definitely great cards to run and uh, just, you know, pretty important staples. All right, moving on to the spells and traps, we got three fossil digs, which is basically this card's version of Rota. Just search out uh, any level six or lower dinosaur monster, mainly Soul Eating Oviraptor or even Miscellaneous Source if you want. Triple uh, Lost World. Uh, when a dinosaur monster is summoned, you could do special summon one Jurek token uh, to your opponent's side of the field, and if that 
And since those tokens are treated as normal monsters, whenever a normal monster is to be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one dinosaur monster from your hand or your deck instead and to keep it on the board. And that's usually the primary goal, so keep, make sure that token stays on your opponent's side of the field. That way, um, he can't target your monsters. Because while this card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot target your monsters except tokens. So that's why it's still a really good card. And of course, we're running two terraformings since it's semi-limited, but we only ever ran it at two anyway, so that's why I just like it didn't really hurt me too much. So terraforming is still a great card. Everyone's still gonna be running at least two terraformings anyway, so yeah. I feel like it was kind of an unnecessary hit, but you know, it's Konami. What do, what can you do? Uh moving on, we got two two evolution double evolution pills. Used to run it at three, but bumped it down to uh two, mainly because it can easily be ashed. So I only use it when I have to use it, and of course, you know does come in handy. It's really good just to get Tyranno out faster, even Quatless too. But yeah, at the time, like, you just gotta, like, know when to actually use it. Uh, we run two Gold Stars, uh, just mainly because, you know, Giant Rex, pretty obvious. Just because, you know, you want to get them out faster, you want to get into your rank fours a lot faster. And Exiton Knight, by the way, is now unbanned, so hell, I actually run it in my extra deck now. I know it's, it might be a little unhealthy to, you know, run it in this current format, but, you know, we'll see where it goes. Uh, for a little added protection, gold by the grave at two, mainly because it's semi-limited. Wish it wasn't, but hey, you know, at least you know I have it. Uh, one foolish burial, just you know, just to get Quatless out. One dark hole, you know, just to trigger off baby Sarasaurus. It's effective use normal summoning because you don't really want to open up with it. But if you happen to open up with this or interrupt a kaiju slumber, you know, at least you can make use of baby somehow. You know. All right, so that's pretty much it for the main deck. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, extra deck. So my extra deck is mostly focused on XC summoning. The Link monsters I have are mainly Ghost Reaper targets, but uh, they're still good cards, you know, just because... But I don't usually bring them out. So for, so let's start off with the Link monsters, because again, most of them are... Well, the only one I mainly use is just Deco Talker, but overall I don't really use any other of my other ones. Uh, the uh, Ghost Reaper targets I have right here are Firewall Dragon... My Gumblar Dragon, uh, Sky Striker Ace Kagari, because you know could, Sky Strikers are going to be one of the strongest decks ever. So you definitely want to get rid of that Kagari as quickly as you can. And Spirals might make a comeback, so double Helix, you know, just to be on the safe side, and that really slows down the because uh, Nightmare Spiral still exists. They can still extra link you, even though Goblins banned, and they can do both Firewall and Gumblar. So. That's why I run all of these just to be sh just to be on the safe side of things. Cause you you gotta always be prepared, you know. Uh, so the XC's monsters, of course, we now bump run only one leg. Yeah, I bumped it down to just one, just cause you know, now that uh, extra linking is not too big of a hassle anymore, I just only run it at one. One Doka. Tornado Dragon, which you know take care of floodgates and back row and all that stuff. Abyss Dweller. A lot of decks, you know, especially like Burning Abyss, are very reliant on. Um, graveyard effects, so Biz Dweller will slow him down quite a bit. Um, Exiton Knight. Um, yeah, this this card was banned for a reason, but now we finally got it back, and it's only at one anyway, so... But yeah, once we're chained during your main phase, or your opponent's battle phase, if your opponent has more total cards in their hand and on the field than you do, quick effect, you can detach one XC's material from this card, destroy all other cards on the field. Also, your opponent takes no further damage this turn. But it's a good card just to, you know, wipe out, uh, just to wipe out the board. Doesn't target, so, yeah, it's just basically a walking dark hole. Um, next up we got Baguska, which comes in handy, you know, like, I don't bring him out too often anymore, but still a good card, you know, you never know when you'll actually need the Baguska. Uh, we got the Utopia package. One Utopia, one Utopia the Lightning. Uh, to deal with, you know, the time rules, we have Super Dreadnought, you know, just to, which is real easy, just overlay two, uh, over Ultimate Conductor Tyrannos, I've done this quite a bit already, but you just inflate 2,000 points of damage to your opponent, so better than Gaga Ga Cowboy, in my opinion. And, of course, one Trishula, only because we do run Jurek Alo still on the side, so that's why I still, like, run the one Trishula, just because it's still a good card, doesn't target, doesn't destroy. So moving on to the side deck, um, I run three copies of Ghost Reaper, pretty standard, and one Jurek Alone. Reaper, I definitely pick up your play sets as quickly as you can, because those cards might start skyrocketing up. Um, 
but it's a good competitive card, especially on the side, so definitely recommend three Reapers, and of course, Alo is still a good option. Uh, triple Torrential Tributes, you know, just to uh, wipe out boards, and also combos really well with Baby Sarasaurus, so yeah. Another good tech card for Ultimate Conductor, Ceasefire, because Morphing Jar is now a thing. It's 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 part, it's definitely in a see some play, so we gotta get rid of that card as quickly as you can. But Ceasefire definitely helps, because it keeps it from triggering off its uh, ability, so yeah. Uh, two survivals in, pretty good card. Um, you destroy one normal monster, I believe, and then target or yeah, target one tar dinosaur card. Uh, you control, destroy it, and then destroy. Uh, hold on, let me, let me let me double read this just to make sure. Okay, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one dinosaur monster you control, and one card your opponent controls, and destroy them. So yeah, great card just to help you you know get rid of other cards that could be a problem. Uh, two Storming Mirror Forces, and of course, two Mind Crush. Storming Mirror Force, you know, just to get rid of those uh, extra links. And if you can bait out uh, the Trigate Negate, uh, definitely play Storming Mirror Force. It's definitely going to help you out a lot. Anyway, that's it for the Dinosaur deck. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.